Hi friends, welcome back to Pharma Corner. This video is called Anti-Arrhythmic Drugs. So, what is Anti-Arrhythmic Drugs? What is Anti-Arrhythmia? What is Anti-Arrhythmia? Arrhythmias are deviations from the normal heartbeat pattern. Heart to beat is a pattern, a rhythm. What is the abnormality? What is the disturbance? We call it arrhythmia. Arrhythmia is the arrhythmia. Impulse formation is the origin of the site. Conduction is the disturbance. One arrhythmia is the arrhythmia. Normal cardiac rhythm is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Now, this is the variation. That is 60 to 100 beats per minute. In this condition, we are going to talk about tachycardia. Heartbeat is 100 beats per minute. That is tachycardia. 60 beats per minute is tachycardia. That is tachycardia. A bradycardia is a slow heart rate due to the problem with the SA0 pacemaker ability. Or some interruption in conduction through the natural electrical pathway of the heart. Heart in the natural electrical pathway is the interruption of the SA node. That is the pacemaker of the heart. We have a problem with the SA node. The reason for tachycardia includes hypertension, atherosclerosis, cardiomyopathy. The impulse is the variation of the tachycardia. Okay. இப்போ அருத்மிய என்தானும் ஐடியைக் கிட்டிக்கானும் இன்னும் நேக்ஸ்டு நம்க்கு anti-arrhythmic drugs என கொருச்சு நோக்காம். anti-arrhythmic agents, they are also known as cardiac dysrhythmia medications. These are a group of pharmaceuticals that are used to suppress abnormal rhythm of the heart. நேர்த்தை தக்கிகாடிய பிராடிகாடிய கொருச்சு பாரங்கிட்டுண்டாருனும். Atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, cardiac arrhythmias in exam light வருந்து என்ன இப்போ இதின் அக்க treat இது நம்மட heart இந்த ருதத்தினே normal ஆக்கன் வேண்டிட்ட use இந்த agents இன்ன anti-arrhythmic agents இந்த வரையின்னது Next classification அனா, அப்போ classification பரையின்னை முன்பாட்ட நம்குடு குண்ணி topic உங்குட நோக்கா எந்தான repolarization and எந்தான depolarization heart contractum relaxum செய்துட்டான हाट कॉन्ट्राक्षिन में रिलाक्सेशन वक्के संभविकिन में नोंड़ एंगिल अवड़ कोर्च आयोन्स इन्टे एक्स्चीन्च एक्के संभविकिन नंड़ अप आधने कोर्च जिस्ट अन्न परंगे बुवा The Action Potential of Perkinji System It includes 5 phases Phase 0, Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3 and Phase 4 नम्मल पो मुन्बु परंगेरदों आयोन्स � அன்னிஷிசி புய்க்கையுங்கே நாம்கு மென்சிலாம் ஹாட்டில் ஒரு இம்பல்ச ஜெனரைட்டியைப் படுந்து இம்பல்ச பர்ஸ்டு ஜெனரைட்டியின்னது SA நோடிலான் பேசமேக்கர் ஓப்து ஹாட்டம் நாரைப் படுந்து SA நோடிலான் இம்பல்ச ஜெனரைட்டியின்னது அங்கன இம்பல்ச SA நோடில்னன் ஒரு phase சாய்ட நோக்கா, phase 0, it is mainly due to rapid influx of sodium through open sodium channel. The upstroke stops following inactivation of sodium channel. Phase 0 இல்ல, rapid depolarization என்ன சம்பவிக்கின்து, இவ்விடை sodium influx நடக்குந்து, sodium influx நடக்கும் போ, sodium chiro வாசியின்து, நம்மட அவ்விடை பர்க்கின்சி fiber cellsல் ஓட்ட, sodium chiro வாசியின்து, அங்கனை காயரம் போ, Rapid depolarization நடக்குந்து, depolarization leads to contraction, நம்னாது முன்பு பரங்கே இருந்தும் இல்லை, அப்போ, phase 0 இல்ல, ventricular contraction நடக்குந்து, phase 1 start இந்தது எங்கனே நாச்சா, நேர்த்த phase 0 இல்ல, sodium influx சம்பவிச்சிருந்தும் அல்லை, அப்போ, அது அங்க stop ஏ, அதைது, sodiumத்தின்ட entry stop ஜேயும், பகரம், potassiumத்தின்ட outflow Phase 1 occur due to the stoppage of inward flow of sodium and start potassium outflow from the cell. It will last for a brief period. Period of early fast repolarization. Phase 1 
Phase 2. Plateau phase. During this phase, calcium enters the myocardial cell through voltage dependent calcium channel, whereas potassium moves out through potassium channel. Plateau phase is the graph of the plateau. Alpum straight tight. So, that is the plateau phase. In this e phase, le, calcium myocardial cell enters through voltage dependent calcium channel. That is the potassium and potassium channel very outflow in Phase 3, it is also said to be phase of repolarization. If you look at here, the calcium channel closes. Calcium channel closes. And the potassium efflux occur. Potassium and efflux are not done. In this phase, the potassium efflux is not done. Then phase 4, phase 4 is also said to be spontaneous depolarization. Here the membrane potential returns to the resting value. That is the phase 4 la spontaneous cytola depolarization. Depolarization is sodium ions in the curve. That is the sodium ions efflux. This is the contraction. Spontaneous cytola contraction phase 4. Now we have Phase 0 is rapid depolarization. Phase 1 is partial repolarization. Phase 2 is plateau phase. And phase 3 is repolarization. Phase 4 is forward current phase. Polarization is phase 4. Next classification for antiarrhythmic drugs. We have four classes. Class 1. Class 1 include sodium channel blockers. So, that's why we classify ABC. A is the drug that moderately depressed phase 0 depolarization. Phase 0 depolarization is moderately depressed in the drugs. A is included in the quinidine, procainamide, and disopyramide. B is included in the drugs that have minimal effect on phase 0 depolarization. Phase 0 depolarization is minimal effect on the drugs. Example, lignocaine, mexildin. Seal included at the drugs that markedly depress phase 0 depolarization. Example, flicanate, propafinone. I class 1 carrying you next to class 2. Ana. Class 2 will include at the beta adrenergic blockers. I am carrying beta adrenergic blockers. I am carrying propranolol, atinolol, esmolol, metaprolol, sotolol. Next to class 3. Class 3 will include drugs that prolong duration of action potential. Action potential uh, duration ne prolong the drugs in class 3 will include it. That is amiodarone, dronidarone, dofatilate, ibutilide, brutilium. Class 4 include calcium channel blockers, example verapamil and delciazem. Others, digoxin, adenosine, atropine, isoprenaline. This is the class 1 is the drugs that is phase 0. Sodium channel blockers are okay. phase 0 is active. Class 2 will be beta blockers are okay. active in phase 4. Class 3 potassium channel blockers are active in phase 3. Then phase 4 will be calcium channel blockers are active in phase 2. Now, we will be in phase 2. Now, we Either group of drugs, either phase lana act in an orca. Class one phase zero, class two phase four, class three phase three, and class four phase two. E antiarrhythmic drugs, okay, oro phase lana act in an mechanism of action. Next video, Thank you.